The University of Central Florida is the second largest university in the entire United States. And as such, we have a total of around 415 undergraduate anthropology majors and then about 50 people in our graduate program. We have 17 anthropologists within the department, roughly broken across archaeology, cultural, and physical forensic disciplines, and it's almost equal in each discipline. All of the faculty in the Department of Anthropology at UCF are researchers. They're conducting active field work in Europe and Egypt, in Turkey and South America, Mexico, Belize, and the Caribbean. Myself and my husband Arlen, we are archaeologists and we work in, in Belize. We've been working at the site of Caracol, Belize for the last 30 years. This is a huge city in the middle of the jungle. And while we're there, we're doing traditional archaeological things. We're, we're doing sewer survey, we're doing excavation, we're finding pottery, we're recovering tombs. But at the same time, we're reconstructing an ancient civilization. And what we're finding are some of the same kinds of things that are important questions today. We're looking at how did the Maya sustain themselves. There's a current exhibit that's traveling across the country. It's starting in, in Minneapolis. It's called Maya Hidden Worlds Revealed. It's amazing because it's really a, a hands-on exhibit in a science museum. It also shows the public the physical images that are possible from LIDAR, which is light detection and ranging. Uh, it's the use of lasers uh, in order to see through the trees and see what is on the ground. What LIDAR allows us to do is to literally produce images of what is on the ground that you can see not only the settlement, but the topography, the terraces, the roadways, the water systems, caves. So it's absolutely fascinating. Most of our undergraduates at UCF have an opportunity to do active field research. We take students to Caracol Belize, undergraduate students. We've done that uh, since the project started 30 years ago. Uh, our colleagues bring them to Bolivia, they bring them to Mexico, and the department also sponsors a field school in the Bahamas uh, every summer, uh, which students also have the opportunity to go to. Physical anthropology or biological anthropology is the study of the physical remains of human beings or the actual living populations around the world. At UCF we have two areas of physical or biological anthropology that we specialize in. One is forensic anthropology and that is applying our knowledge base about physical anthropology to a medical legal situation where we're working with the medical examiner or the police um, to either search for or excavate human remains. Tell me what side you think that is. We also specialize in bioarchaeology, which is the application of both archaeological techniques of human remains and then going all the way through and studying those human remains to see what we can find out about them. Here at UCF, students have the opportunity to learn in both of those subdisciplines if they specialize in forensic anthropology to get experience working with the police and with the medical examiner's office. And we also have students who work with our bioarchaeologists in many different parts of the world, like for example, Peru, Egypt, Lithuania, Turkey, just to name a few places. Cultural anthropology involves the scientific and humanistic study of the development of human societies and cultures based on ethnologic, ethnographic, linguistic, and social data. And we place a strong emphasis on field work or first-hand experience in a particular community for an extended period of time. And we call that participant observation. And that experience allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the social processes within a community, their idea of knowledge and truth, how their language affects how they see the world, and the various nuances of their culture from an, what we call emic perspective or insider perspective. Cultural anthropology students enjoy the unique opportunity to design individual research projects and these can be conducted nationally, locally, internationally. They can also participate as research assistants with faculty members traveling to their research sites to, to learn the techniques uh, that the researcher uses, whether that's surveys or interviews and that type of thing. 
What you're looking at here is our home page for the course. This will be your home base for the entire semester. Uh, the UCF Anthropology Department offers the ability for students to take a variety of online courses. In fact, we actually offer a fully online degree where non-traditional students can gain access to the same amount of information, content, that any regular traditional student would. Additionally, we also offer mixed mode courses which allow flexibility for students to take courses in a classroom setting as well as in the online environment. We represent the future in the way that we provide large numbers of classes to large numbers of students by focusing on the web component of the academic delivery and also by the fact that we are still actively engaged in research projects outside of the United States. In the future, we're still going to be doing that and we're going to be trying to answer society's modern day problems and questions that they want solved through the uses of all the different forms of anthropology.